it's not complicated. It's as simple as two words. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. I got two words for you today. Two words, here they are. Be right, be right. You know, we live in a world that is obsessed with the look right. We wanna look right on social media. We curate photos and stories. We put filters on our face. We get the best angles and the best storylines to make us look right. We joined 17 different organizations with no intention of making any of them better, but instead to use them on our resume to make us look right. We are obsessed with the look right. And as nice as it is to look right, can I tell you something that's even better? It's to be right. That's why today I wanna to challenge you in a world that is obsessed with the look right, I wanna challenge you to become obsessed with the be right because there's a simple truth that when we are right, we will look right. But when we look right, we won't necessarily be right. You see, we're putting the cart before the horse. We're all flash and no cash. We are all bark and no bite. And what I want for you and what I want for myself is to be people of substance, to be people whose life matches the advertisement, the marketing that is. I want people to see you and to know that you live a life of integrity, that you are who you say you are, you do what you say you do, and you can be trusted to take responsibility for your life, for your goals, and in the big moments, they can count on you. That type of trust as a teammate, as a leader, does not happen by looking right. It happens when you are right, when you're obsessed with the be right. You see, to be obsessed with the be right is to have a relentless commitment to integrity. It's to be committed in your whole self, your mind, your heart, your body, your actions, to be obsessed with integrity. And this is how Brene Brown talks about it. And I want us to see the power of the be right. She says integrity is choosing courage over comfort, choosing what is right over what is fun, fast, or easy, and choosing to practice our values rather than simply professing them. When we get caught up in the look right, we don't have the courage to tell ourselves the truth. You see, we get cowardly. And instead of telling ourselves the truth about how we're really doing, we'll lie to ourselves. Instead of telling ourselves the truth about the areas we can work on and the areas we can grow in, we instead tell a version of the truth that allows us to just see what we do well and we never have to work hard at hard stuff. We just work hard at the easy stuff and we lie to ourselves. I wonder today, could you have the courage to tell yourself the truth, the whole truth and the full truth? Could you choose courage today? Not that you would look right, but that you would become right, that you would be right. The courage to say, I need to work on some things. The courage to say, I'm not the teammate that I could be. The courage to say that I can be better than I've been and I have chosen no one else to hold myself back. Now that's not true for everyone always, but knowing student athletes the way I do, knowing the man in the mirror the way that I do, I know that we all could tell ourselves more truth. If we have the courage to do that, what begins to happen is when we tell ourselves the truth, we're able to hear the truth. Then we're able to act on that truth. And instead of looking right, we become right. You see, that's the power of the be right. It gets us where we want to be that we would choose even when it's not fun or easy or convenient, we would choose to tell other people the truth, to tell our teammates the truth, our friends the truth, that we wouldn't hide behind masks, and we do this all the time. We hide behind the mask that everything is okay. We hide behind the mask that I'm the funny guy, even though on the inside we're hurting even though on the inside we're struggling and we hide and we tell lies to other people about how we're doing because we're afraid if we tell the truth that, hey, I need help, someone's gonna make fun of me. Someone's gonna talk about me behind my back. 
Someone's gonna think I'm not strong enough, that I can't handle leadership, I can't handle my goals, I can't handle athletics in school and life. And you're gonna feel like you got a scarlet letter on your chest. You see, but what happens when we tell other people the truth about how we're doing, we actually are able to get the help they're willing to give that will help us get where we need to be. When we tell other people the truth, especially when it's inconvenient, especially when it's hard, trust is built between people, between teammates, because I know you'll tell me the truth, even when it's hard and that allows trust to be built. You see, this commitment to the be right is a commitment to telling the truth to other people. It's the commitment to telling the truth to yourself, to making your commitments count. Not just being on a team, but making a difference on the team. You see, some of you, you wanna look right, so you're on the team. You got the jacket, you go to practice, but you're not right, and so you don't make a difference. You just take up space and drink Gatorade. That's all you do. When you become obsessed with the be right, you say, how can I make a difference on this team? How can I make a difference in this organization? You're not there for what you can get from it. You're there for what you can give to it. That's what happens when you commit to the be right. You know, there's one other thing that happens when we commit to be right over the look right. And it's that we learn to take 100% responsibility for our goals, 100% responsibility for our life that we don't make excuses, we don't make explanations, we don't come up with reasons why we've not done what we said we would do, why we've not reached our goals, why things haven't gone our way. We don't make excuses, we don't give explanations. Instead, what we do is we take ownership for our actions, we take ownership for what we need to learn, and then we go do the work. That's what people who are committed to the Be Right do. That's what people who are committed to integrity do. The people that are committed to the look right, they got great excuses, great stories for why they haven't reached their goals. And their stories are like a little blanket, a teddy bear. It makes them feel good, but it doesn't change anything. You see, that's why I wanna challenge each of you today to let go of the look right and become obsessed with the be right. Because when we are committed to the be right, we will inevitably look right. When you tell your, the truth to yourself and to others, you can't help but look right. When you make a difference on every team that you're on, you don't just drink the Gatorade, you make a difference in the way that only you can, you will look right because you are right. When you take responsibility for your actions, eliminate excuses, you can't help but look right because you are right. Friends, you've got to understand Life in sports, they're not a social media page that you can curate and look better than you really are and get where you wanna be. Life is real. Life demands integrity. It demands that you actually do the work if you wanna get out the reward. It demands a commitment to integrity, a commitment to the be right. So listen to me, friends. I don't know what your goals and dreams are, big or small, short term or long, but I do know this. If you want to find success in the game of sports, in the game of life, well, it's not complicated. It's as simple as two words. You got to be right. Let's have a good one today.